It is currently believed that our species Homo sapiens evolved from a relatively primitive hominid ancestor, Homo erectus, whose brain was approximately half the size of our own, and that this species divergence took place at least 300,000 years ago. But what caused this to happen? In his book, Food of the Gods, published in 1993, the American ethnobotanist Terence McKenna proposed that the origin of our species was likely precipitated by the introduction of psychedelic fungi into our diet, an idea known today as the stoned ape hypothesis. McKenna suggested that following the desertification of the African subcontinent, which has occurred periodically throughout history, our predecessors, Homo erectus, were forced to migrate and forage for new sources of food. McKenna speculated that out of desperation, part of this new diet would likely have included insects and other arthropods that feed on the droppings of ungulate mammals such as cows and antelope. Given that certain species of psychedelic fungi, such as Psilocybe cubensis, also thrive on faecal matter, these too would have also likely been included in our ancestors' diet. And the consumption of these mushrooms, McKenna believed, gave these early hominids several evolutionary advantages. Firstly, McKenna claimed that psychedelic mushrooms improve visual acuity, making our ancestors that consumed them more proficient hunters and foragers, thus increasing the availability of food and consequently their chances of survival. Secondly, McKenna claimed that psychedelic mushrooms act as an aphrodisiac and increase the likelihood of sexual reproduction and consequently increase the number of offspring produced. Thirdly, at higher doses, McKenna claimed that psychedelic mushrooms cause a dissolution of social boundaries, resulting in greater social cohesion and consequently improved chances of group survival. Finally, McKenna suggested that continued use of psychedelic mushrooms would have stimulated neurogenesis, particularly in the language processing parts of the brain, and that this resulted in an accelerated development of human intelligence, as well as a capacity for higher conceptual thinking, such as advanced tool use, spirituality, and religious belief. Critics of McKenna's theory argue that there is simply insufficient evidence to support his claims. However, modern supporters of the Stone Ape hypothesis, such as the mycologist Paul Stamets, believe that it is as plausible a theory as any other as to how our species evolved and why it is that our brains appeared to suddenly double in size over a relatively short time period of just 200,000 years. If you enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe for more content just like it. And until next time, thanks for watching.